everyone welcome back to another video so I have had this idea I thought maybe for the next few Fridays I would try different powder foundations and see how they perform on a mature skin so I have quite a few powder foundations but I've never actually used them on their own as a foundation I use them to set my liquid foundation or to add a bit of more coverage to my liquid foundation I've always been a bit scared to use it on its own thinking it will look really dry cakey and really show and maybe settle in all the lines so today I am going to test the Wonder Beauty Wonder Last powder foundation I've had this for a very long time I have them in three different colors this one is in golden medium I think it's a bit too light for me right now because as you can see I'm quite tanned fake tanned but I can always make it work with bronzers so let me just quickly tell you what they say about this foundation so wonder beauties wonderlust powder foundation provides buildable coverage that doesn't cake or weigh your skin down it's formulated with aloe leaf extract that moisturizes and restores suppleness while hibiscus flower extract works to even tone and boost elasticity and you get the mirror compact uh, with it you get the little sponge i never really use those it's free from oils parabens synthetic fragrance talc and gluten so it sounds really good i am not sure if this is a mineral powder foundation i prefer mineral powder foundations because I feel they are not as drying they always have a bit of glow but as you can see this one has a bit of glow now so what I, what I apply this uh, this type of foundations with it depends what finish you want how much coverage you want if you want just a light coverage you use it with quite fluffy brush not very dense and that will give you more like a dusting of coverage if you want better coverage much better coverage use something like dense kabuki brush and this is blank canvas cosmetics f01 i really like that one for it and then another tool that will give you a lot of coverage is some sort of sponge i love this sponge no one talks about this sponge i've had it for years i have a couple of them and on they are so soft i cannot tell you this side is a bit like a beauty blender sponge but softer and this side is very velvety so this is supposed to be for the powder this is supposed to be for liquid but i use both sides and that really really gives you a lot of coverage i usually use that one you know to just like i said if i use my liquid foundation and i just want to use the powder foundation for a bit more coverage then i will use that and and um, pat the powder foundation with this love this sponge this is from mac by the way i hope they still do them anyway so this will be the first foundation powder foundation we are trying today and as usual i will demo it and then after a few hours i will come back and see how it was oh by the way if you want to know where my top is from you might remember i've bought it two years ago on amazon i love it i have them in three colors uh, great quality just a bit different um, and if you want to find it i have a link in my description box to my amazon store and when you get to there if you go under fashion that's where the top will be okay let's get to the demo so i'm going to start with putting my concealer on because obviously i don't want to put all that powder under my eyes so I know you can use powder concealers but I think that might be too much I am definitely going to put some on my nose because 
you know, the nose repels the foundation. Okay, so like I said, this might be a bit light, but we will sort it with bronzer. So if you want light coverage, let me just do this side, you do it with a fluffy brush. And that is very light coverage. If you want much better coverage, use it with something, you know, like this dense Kabuki brush. This is Black Canvas Cosmetics F01. Can you see the difference now in in coverage or I don't know that no one talks about these sponges this is from MAC and on this side it is a bit like a beauty blender type of sponge and here it's beautiful velvety um, sponge which you use for powder foundations and that really gives you full coverage so I will go over with this brush and then where I need more coverage, I will go over with the sponge. I'm not going under my eyes. So here you are, this is the difference. This is really not very good color for me right now, but we will make it work. Okay, now I'm going to take this sponge and see where I need a bit more coverage, like on my nose. This sponge is wonderful, honestly. If you've never tried it you should so i wouldn't say this is full coverage but it's a very good medium right let's set under my eyes with the jeffree star powder i didn't bring my brush for it so i have to use this one okay let me bring you closer before I do all the bronzing and see what it looks like, you know, straight after you've put it on. Okay, so here is what it looks like. So as, as you can see, it doesn't cover everything. Probably would if I kept going. Um, but I don't think so far it looks too powdery. It feels a bit tight uh, like i said i've got normal to dry skin but i think once your own oil starts start coming through you will feel better okay let's put some bronzer on um i would advise to use like mineral bronzers because mineral powders are not as drying as like a normal setting matte powder so i would use something like the laura gala tahitian glow or laura mercier ritual or the hourglass luminous ambient bronzer we might use all of them <laughs> so i'm going to start with a laura mercier ritual do you remember that powder was like a holy grail and um, it was just limited edition and then it disappeared but then they brought it um, in permanently i bought so many um, of these powders this is actually my last one but i'm not sure 
I love it as much as I used to. I might go back to my favorite Laura Gela. I'm going to use the blushes from um, Charlotte Tilbury's Love Gasm palette. And that's done. Uh, what I would do now is spray it with like a finishing spray. So you want the powder to melt all together and get a bit of a glow but as you can see this is quite glowy that's what i mean about mineral powder foundations the mineral powders always have a bit of sheen they are not flat like a setting matte powder so yeah i quite like this look so just let me set it now i will set it with my mac plus So as you can see, it is not very dry powdery look. It is quite luminous. I quite like it, but of course, the test will be wearing it all day and seeing it at the end of the day. So that's what I will do. I'm going to go now and put my brows on and I film a makeup tutorial and I will see you. Let me actually show you first this close up now. I've, I've put all the bronzer and everything and put the spray on and then I will see you at the end of the day or five, six hours later. Okay, so here it is. As you can see, it's quite glowy. My forehead is quite glowy. If you have maybe oily skin, then you can set your T-zone with a setting powder. Yeah, so I think I am surprised. I think it looks really, really nice. I thought I would look really dry and cakey, but this looks pretty good. Okay, my lovelies, I will see you in a few hours. Okay, so I am back. It's five o'clock now, so it has been about six hours. I haven't touched up. And do you know what? I really, really like it. It's a bit more glowy that I like, but it doesn't look greasy, maybe a bit on my forehead, but I suppose I could, I'm gonna powder it in a minute with the Jeffree Star powder and see if that looks okay. But the foundation, I mean, stayed on better than liquid foundation. I will zoom you in now so you can have a proper look. Okay, so here it is. As you can see, my, my forehead is pretty shiny. Um, and here, I know I have a bit of, um, you know, the Charlotte Tilbury's blush, which has got a bit of shine in it. But yeah, this definitely has a bit of dewiness to it. I've turned the lights down so you can see it better. Although that makes me very, very brown and orange and I'm not like this. Let me turn it up a bit. Now you've seen it close up. Okay. That looks better. Okay, so I'm going to powder with Jeffrey's because that's what I've got here. Yeah, so that has taken the shine down. But then I can see a bit more of the powder. So I would say that this is really good if you've got very dry skin. I think if you've got dry skin and you always thought you couldn't wear powder foundation, this one probably would be pretty good. It felt a bit dry and tight 
the minute I put it on but about 10 minutes later it felt, feels very comfortable like I've got nothing on. So yes I am really pleasantly surprised. I can't wait to try more powder, powder foundations but this one I think for like a daytime wear it's lovely especially in the summer. I don't mind that a bit of luminosity I suppose I could touch up throughout the day but yes if you have dry skin and were afraid of powder foundation I would give this one a go. Right my lovelies let me know what you thought of it and I will see you soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye!